about how we have a Department of Education that's been going for a while and getting increasingly involved in education. And of course, all of us are increasingly meeting young people who can't read or write. Um, and the Department of Energy, which was supposed to keep us from being dependent on foreign energy sources. We know where that went. And the Department of Agriculture, which reduced our farming population to 3% of our people. And many, many homeless people I meet say that the one thing they want to do more than anything is be farmers. Okay, so uh, are we ready to uh, start the introduction? We'll have a slight pause here while we get the... Uh, this is our meditation time. Our first speaker today, Robin Benson, graduate of the University of Virginia with a Bachelor of Science in Sports Medicine. She began studying Chinese medicine in 1989. She's been practicing for over 20 years, specializing in family medicine, pain management, and women's health. Working with her is Sudarshan Abin, her clinical assistant, the doctor of oriental medicine at Santa Fe Soul Health and Healing Center. His core belief is that healing is an art, so he simultaneously studied in the fields of medicine and art. He also had lived for five years as a Buddhist renunciate in a traditional acupuncture clinic. Let's give a warm welcome to Robin Benson and Sudarshan Abin. Barefoot, not just outside, but barefoot, 
And I, as a doctor of medicine, um, the bottom of the foot is the kidney joint. It's the first point that can be in. It's really important that we become more receptive to these earth frequencies. As we know, in um, you know, the last 100 years, I mean, we've been completely disconnected. We're not getting outdoors nearly enough. And I just read a statistic recently that the average American spends 95% of their lifetime indoors. And so it's not surprising that you see now our children are literally unhealthy in many ways. And this is, uh, Dr. Hyman reported that, I think maybe you know him, that this is the, the children that are being born right now, they're going to be the first generation of children that are not going to outlive their parents' age. Pretty shocking. So anyway, what are we going to, what are we going to do about this? I just want to mention here in this, 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 we're going to see people from around the world. I've traveled worldwide, as I mentioned, and I've, some of the greatest secrets I've learned about health come from indigenous people who say, if we do get reconnected, we do reestablish our health on a cellular level. That's what this technology is all about. We are 70 trillion cells, and if we upregulate each cell in our body, we will see major, major changes. As you see this woman running in the ocean barefoot, that's like the best possible formula to be outdoors, to be barefoot, and of course to be in salt water. We, need, we as humans are like the earth. We are 70% water and we're minerals. So that's exactly what we can do for our health and into our, to ourselves every single day. So I'm going to have the doctor to tell this story. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh, I'm really glad to be here again at the Tesla conference. Um, I, I feel very lucky to be with all these inventors and be able to take this information back to our patients and share this benevolent technology with other people. Um, I'm a very body-based person. We are at Santa Fe Soul. I feel like it is our first interface with patients. Um, so I want to invite you all to take your shoes off if you're comfortable with that. And we do crazy things at Santa Fe Soul. We talk to our body. I want you to ask your kidney one point to open up and connect with the earth. And maybe we can have a group healing here today with this. You know, we, we really want you to take this message into your body. I wanted to start with this slide because it, um, it was kind of shocking for me. It came to me two weeks ago. My wife sent me this email. I was quite busy working. And, she just asked the question in the email, what do you think this is? Um, and I looked at it, looked at it, and I ran back to a patient's room, and I realized it was a wave filled with oil. And later she confirmed that. It was a wave that was washing up on the shore in Alabama. Um, I mentioned this to the patient whose room I went into, and he told me a story um, that he had just received from a person who was in the Gulf, that um, a shrimp fisherman went out that day to take his nets in, and he immediately got a headache, he was short of breath, he had heart palpitations, he returned to shore and then um, got immediate skin rashes. So he was, um, he was made very ill, okay, okay. He was made very ill by the dispersant which they had sprayed in the water to supposedly rid the gulf of this oil. What it does is dissolve lipids so it actually started to dissolve his body. Later in the day he was bleeding rectally um, I have some friends that are environmental stewards, and I had this um, story confirmed in two other emails. Do you have them? I wondered if the shrimp fisherman's hands looked like this, and I felt so sorry for him. These are not his hands, those are my hands. Um, I came to Robin about four years ago, and that was the condition of my hands and my arms. I had a horrible case of eczema. I had worked as an artist for 10 years and was exposed to many different photochemicals, print solvents, different things like that. Um, and in art school, they never really teach you to take care of yourself. I mean, you have gloves, you have a respirator, but you're never taught to detoxify, and you're never taught about the danger of these materials. Um, so this came up, and I didn't know what to do. I tried so many different things. I went to eight different doctors. I tried over 200 substances topically, and I just couldn't get it to heal. Um, finally, I came to Robin's clinic, and we used IV therapies. We used soul retrieval, we use biofeedback, use many different techniques to 
put all these foundational, foundational pieces in place, but it still would not heal. Um, and I was quite troubled. I was in a lot of pain. I was worried about secondary in infections because I was working with many patients. And then the MRS came into our life, and um, I was a bit dubious about it, but I started using it. And after three months, um, my hands completely my hands completely closed up. And then I realized that no matter what I had done to put these foundational pieces in place, I was missing free electro electrons to cause my cell, brain, cell membrane potential to increase so that all of these nutrients, all these things I, could, I was doing could migrate into the cell and that the toxins could migrate, migrate out. So I was missing a fundamental piece in my knowledge base. I had been trained by many different doctors, but this was missing. This was a huge realization for me. And then I, I had to kind of work back and realize that this was happening because of all the radio frequencies that we are exposed to and all the dirty electricity. And this is not an uncommon sight in our clinic now, more and more with children, actually. In the last month, I've done five different food tests on children because they have horrible eczema. And dealing with the radio frequencies is part of, you know, of this phenomenon. So I just want to say, um, for me, introducing this beneficial technology to you Beneficial technology to you is a great joy because when people when people use it, I see them come back to themselves. These free electrons do more than just heal our body; they bring us back into the earth. We are the earth. We're not living on the earth. We are the earth, and what we do to it, we do to ourselves. biggest health issue that I suffered from for about 25 years was a serious case of uh, insomnia, lots of different variations of sleep. And considering my profession and all the incredible healers as I, I was I experienced, um, nothing was able to help me with this issue until I was introduced to this technology by Dr. John Gray, the author, Men Are From Mars, Women From Venus, about a year and a half ago. I was telling him about this, and he said, Robin, I have this technology you've got, you have to know about, certainly to bring it to your center. And he said, well, I think this is going to help you in a way nothing else has because you have been so disconnected also from these, these negative electrons, and you, that's going to help restore your nervous system. Well, sure enough, I, that is what happened. When I used this mat, after about 11 days, I was able to sleep. But I also found out really what has been the root of this sleep issue. We happen to live um, in Santa Fe, and behind our house is this water tower. And it also, if you look around it, I had no idea. I hired somebody to check out my house and find out what's wrong, because I knew something wasn't right, because my sleep, my sleep issue got worse, like so many people. I mean, a third of all Americans are suffering from sleep deprivation. Anyway, this particular man spent two hours at my house, and he had a very sophisticated Gauss meter. And he said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with your house. You don't have mold. You don't have any other you know, chemicals that I can see. He said, what I think is going on is, you're, as you can look at this Gauss meter, it is beyond. I mean, the, the needle goes all the way to the end. It can't even go any further. That you've got, you and your family, your husband and two kids, are being exposed to all these frequencies that are on this water tower. So there are 14, 14 telecommunications around this water tower. And it's, it really makes sense. Now that I understand this technology, now that I realize that most of my life that I've been living in these higher frequencies, I happen to fit in a category where many of us do in this room and around the world called electrosensitivity. And now I can be in these frequencies to some degree. We did not, actually did not move. This, this particular wellness device helped me get restore my health. Um, there's certain things I do on a day-to-day -day basis, and we're going to talk about how important it is now more than ever to make some total lifestyle changes to be able to live in this world. Jason, would you like to share your story? There's several people in this room that use this technology, but I thought we'd have one more person ex share their experience. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Great. Can you hear me? Is it on? Is it on? It's on now. Uh, 
so I'll speak really quickly. Uh, basically, Robin, something that Robin hasn't shared about this mat is she ordered the mat and it arrived and she was very skeptical about it and said, I don't want it. So she told her office manager, call the company back and then tell them we're going to send it back. And she called the company in Germany and they said, oh, we don't, we don't take the mat back. And the manager said, well, what do you mean you don't take it back? And they said, well, we don't, we don't take returns on the mat. We've been selling it for 18 years and we just, we don't do that. And uh, the office manager was like, well, why not? And they said, well, the mat works. Have you used it? And the office manager said, no, we haven't opened it. It's unused. It's perfect. It's all fine. We can send it back. And they said, oh, we're definitely not taking it back. Uh, and that, Robin was pretty hacked about that. So anyway, Robin's like, we have this device. We might as well use it. So she started using it. I had no interest in it. Uh, but at the time we got the mat, I had a low back injury. I had wrenched my low back pretty severely. And I was walking around you know, very carefully and having to get out of a chair carefully and, and sit back in a chair carefully and having trouble driving and things like that. And after 30 days of doing the, this, Robin said, would you please just try this mat? And I said, okay, what's it gonna do? And she said, well, use the little pad, which is, I guess they're gonna describe this here in a bit, but it's this little thing. She said, use the pad on your low back because what it'll do initially is that it's an electrical device. It creates a low frequency and your nerve, your nervous system, is an electrical system in your body. What's happening in your back is your, your nerves are constantly firing to keep your muscles taut to try to protect the injured portion in your low back. So it should reset your nerves and allow your muscles to relax. And then the other thing is, is that this device oxygenates your blood and you have inflammation in your low back. So it'll help, it'll help speed the healing process of the injury. I said, okay, I'll try it. So, First two days I used it, uh, just seated at my computer for about maybe a total of five hours each day. And uh, then on the third and fourth day, I, I had a driving trip in northern New Mexico and Robin had a, uh, a cigarette lighter power adapter for it. So she said, yeah, just take it on the road and while you're driving, just sit with it in your car seat. So I did that on the third and fourth day for about, again, about five hours each day. I didn't really notice any big reduction in pain, no really wow factor for me. Maybe a little bit of pain reduction, but nothing major. And then at the tail end of the fifth day, Robin called me just to check in. Hey, how's it going? And catch up. And, and uh, at the end of the conversation, she said, oh, by the way, how's your back? And I was driving and I went, I don't feel any pain in my back. And so I had good mobility, no more, uh, uh, no more tightness in it. And then the next day I was back in the gym working out. Now I thought, that, that's pretty neat. And Robin said, well, great. So you're going to start using the mat now every day. And I said, no. I, you know, I, I, I eat well. I exercise regularly. I sleep pretty well. I, you know, I, I believe what you tell me about it, but I've got no interest in using this mat. She said, okay. So about two months go by, and I re-injured my rotator cuff. And I, I ski a lot, and I've injured both my uh, rotator cuff skiing. Well, actually, falling in skiing. But, um, but my left shoulder, I injured really severely. Two major tears. I had an MRI done on it. I went to one of the best orthopedic surgeons in, in Santa Fe, uh, a doctor by the name of Brant Bear. He said, yep, here's one tear, here's two tears. Do you want to have surgery next week or the week after? I didn't want to do that. Uh, so anyway, Robin said, well, why don't you... So months went by, and I was working on healing on my own, but I re-injured re it. And Robin said, well, why don't you try... The device again and I said okay and so I used the little this thing that's like a magic marker size thing called a probe so again I used that on my shoulder just while working on my computer about uh, five hours a day I did that for two days and on the third day I woke up and I had full mobility in my shoulder once again and still a little bit of pain but uh, it was much different than two days earlier and then a few days later I was back in the gym working out so at that point, I said, okay, I'll start using the mat every day. And the way you use this is you lie on the mat eight minutes in the morning and eight minutes at night, and they'll tell you about that. But can I, instead of, can I just have a few, one or two more minutes? So it's been great to help my injuries. That's been really cool. But that's really not the most major thing that I've experienced about the mat. Uh, I use it every day. Um, what I realized after about three or f maybe three months of using it every day 
uh, and I realized this by accident, Robin took a trip on her own and she took the mat. And I didn't think anything about it. I was like, that's fine. Well, after about three days of not using the mat, I was just really kind of frustrated. I was reactive and angry and just, I was just kind of pissed off. And I thought, what's going on here? And it dawned on me, I was like, I wonder if this mat is helping to moderate my moods. Because anybody who knows me, I am a type triple A worrier. I guarantee you I can out worry anybody in this room hands down. I'll bet you cash money. But the mat was really helping me. And I asked Robin, I said, could this be helping my mood? And she said, absolutely. She said, this mat has been used for you know, 18 years. It's well documented as a, as a kind of mood moderator, guess, I, I guess because it helps with your nervous system. We're in constant overdrive. And just using this eight minutes in the morning and eight minutes at night is helping to reset my nervous system. So I said, okay, well, I'll go with that. I'll keep using it. And I'm not necessarily super in touch with, with my body or anything like that. But this was, the amazing part of this is last November, I ran into a guy at the gym that I hadn't seen in about a year. And I said, hey, where you been? And he goes, oh, I injured my shoulder. And, and I said, oh, wow, me too. You gotta call my wife. You can rent this uh, device out of Germany. I've used it to help me with injuries. I told him my whole story with my shoulder. He's like, wow, okay, yeah, maybe. So a week later, he rents the mat for a week. And then he keeps it for a second week. And then he keeps it for a third week. And at the end of his third week of the rental, he calls me up on a Monday morning and says, hey, uh, I've got to turn this mat in today, but I want to buy one. And I said, wow, that's great. It's really helped your shoulder. And he said, yes, but that's not why I'm buying it. And I said, okay, well, why are you buying it then? And he goes, well, for the past two years, I've been depressed. For the past 18 months, I've been near bankruptcy. And for the last several months, my primary care physician has wanted to put me on antidepressants. And uh, he goes, I don't want to do that. And last week, my wife said, have you noticed how much better you feel using this mat every day? And he said, she's right. He goes, and I, I don't want to be on meds. And so that's why he bought the mat. And the, it's been great for me in my life having the mat just in terms of injuries, because I tend to get a lot of injuries. But uh, it, really, the best thing has been the fact that it's helped moderate my moods. So there you have it. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. So my first question is, how many of you are suffering from ED in this audience? And I'm not talking about erectile dysfunction. I'm talking about electron deficiency. We all are. We all are. So if every single doctor in the world made this a priority to really get this reestablished in the body, it would be a different, it would be definitely change the face of health. So I just want to ask a few questions, but what beliefs did you have 10 to 20 years ago about your health that you do not have now? Anybody have an answer? How about, how about a low-fat diet? And look at where that's gotten us. How about believing that aspartame is good for you? Which is now in like 50,000 products and is a neurotoxin. What other ones? Salt is bad. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. That's a, that's a serious one. In fact, we all need to be having sea salt in our diet every day. Otherwise, you know, that's the sodium-potassium pump. We need that. Exactly. Another one. Serious. So anyway, we... Why do you think about that? How many times, how much time per week do you spend in nature? This really is a true fact. 95% of the time we spend indoors in our lifetime. And then does everybody in this room agree that artificial frequencies are affecting our health? Remember this belief? Smoking is good for you? We are so bummed. We have a great 60 second video to show you what we were, um, in terms of radio and TV, how they, they would say that camel cigarettes are smoked, are, are, you know, your doctor recommends smoking camel cigarettes, or more doctors recommend camel cigarettes than any other cigarettes. And it looks glamorous. I, I really wish, we didn't get that worked out, did we? 
So anyway, we're really here to demystify some of these myths, some of these beliefs that we've been carrying somewhat in a hypnotic way. And this is one thing that we forget, and which is most important when we think about our cellular health, is that we are electrical in nature. And I'm sure this audience really knows that, but most people have no clue. The human cell is electrical in nature, not chemical. Chemical reactions in the body take time, so we can't expect to improve our lives rapidly through chemistry. The electromagnetic phenomenon, on the other hand, is instantaneous, so our best bet for better living is through electromagnetism. And as we all know from uh, Professor Dr. Weiner Heisenberg, Electromagnetic energy is the elementary energy on which all of life and organisms depend. So that's really my focus, you know, in my practice now, even as a doctor of oriental medicine, I practice energy medicine. It does help to reestablish balance in the body. It is a form of earthing. And that's exactly what this technology does. So if everybody had that opportunity to be in these healthy fields, you know, eight minutes, two or three times a day, you can see how that will get us back into what we call self-regulation, because most of us are not living self-regulated. So this is what our body really needs and wants, and this is how we're nourished on a day-to-day -day basis on a cellular level once again. So in terms of you know, the Schumann resonance and the Earth's magnetic field that comes together and we have this what's called the human biological window for cellular health, which is about 0.5 to 25 hertz. So this is what we need every single day. And we can imagine what it's like to be an indoor world like we are now. You can imagine what we're experiencing now in terms of electromagnetic pollution. But it does wear and tear on our bodies, and it's not easy for our cells to do what they're designed to do. So this is a great picture that I think really gives you a sense of the electromagnetic smog, the halo of electromagnetic smog that we're living in every single day that are competing with these healthy frequencies. So when we think about a cell phone measuring about 900 megahertz and Wi-Fi and deck phones and all of this, is, it's even much higher than that. And just over the years, it's, it's causing major degradation especially on our cellular level, but our nervous system, our hormones. I mean, I don't see any, rarely do I see people feeling well. I mean, there is a world epidemic, without a doubt, of pain and inflammation. Anybody think about anything else? Radiation poisoning and fatigue. Fatigue is huge. And I have the luxury, really, in my practice, I treat a lot of very healthy people who are very proactive about their health, but they still are suffering from fatigue and dizziness and memory loss. Every day I see this. So these are electrified times that we're living in. If you haven't seen the film Full Signal by Palestinian, has anybody seen that film? By Palestinian filmmaker Talal Jabari? It's called Full Signal. It's an excellent film that just re was released maybe a month ago. And one of the scientists in there says, have you ever considered that through these electrifying times, that this is like one of the, this is the largest ever human biological experience? Experiment, thank you, experiment. So what I, this, this particular handout is so, enlightening if you take the time to read it but if you look in the green zone that's those are the earth frequencies that we need I mean again we're from the earth we need these frequencies in terms of optimal brain function in terms of proper digest and rest we need this on a regular basis and many people never get this and as you go up this scale here this red zone this ultra beta zone, this is the area that I have to say I see most of my clients, 90, 90% of my clients. They're overthinking, they can't relax, tremendous anxiety. I mean, every single day, this is what I'm seeing, and I'd have to say in my 19 years, it's just, it certainly is getting worse. And I see young kids like this, I certainly see teenagers. Right now, suicide is at an all-time high rate. 
It's pretty, pretty serious. But when we're in this red zone and we don't get these earth frequencies on a regular basis, that's when the system starts breaking down. That's where disease really starts. So no matter what any possible health issue any of you may have, you want to think about if you're in that red zone, what are you going to do in your life to get into this, this green zone? Because that truly is the only way to heal. So pharmaceutical drugs, not going to do it. I mean, thankfully, we have them for emergency cases. But um, there's so many things that we do day to day that absolutely are not giving us that essential ingredient, those, those negative electrons that we need. So when we think about changing the face of healthcare, or medicine of the 21st century, it's really exciting to see how much energy medicine has grown quite significantly. And in our healing center, we have many different types of energy technology. So we have focused in Western medicine, certainly on the chemical and mechanical nature of wellness. And we've been missing this particular piece, the energy component, which is the true ignition. So when we think about what's the spark that really turns on cellular metabolism, it is these low frequencies. So it's not surprising that in terms of energy production in our, in our cells that we're suffering from fatigue. So we need some serious metabolic fitness to, to change that. So I just want to express this, that this is, this is a big part of my practice now. It's a huge part. And I find that every single patient that gets on the mat when I do acupuncture, already their metabolism has increased. They're, they're getting more oxygen into their body. And the treatment is much more effective. In fact, very often, I don't have to treat people nearly as long as, or as many treatments because of this because of this technology. So true healing really, as we know from Linus Pauling and many, you know, if we have all of our cells are really healthy, we feel strong, we have energy, our immune systems are vital, but many of us are suffering from inflammation. So our, I always like to explain the difference between like if all of our cells look like healthy grapes, truly, with a good, you know, healthy cell membrane as opposed to a raisin. You know, where the surface area is not very good, you're not getting the oxygen in, and you're certainly not detoxifying. And so when we think about 30,000 diseases, a lot of the issues have to do with we're not detoxifying. We're just so full of chemicals or so full of toxins. So every single time you get on this particular mat or you are outdoors for an extended period of time barefoot, you allow the, it increases the cell membrane potential. So again, you're getting more oxygen into the cells. And again, most of us are deficient in that respect. So if you have a healthy, all your cells have a healthy cell membrane potential, that's actually measured in millivolts. So like t top athletes in the world maybe measure around 80 to 90 millivolts. Most of us maybe in this room, maybe 50, 60, around there. And then when people have cancer, cancer cannot get into a really healthy, thriving cells. It's just not possible. So usually cancer is, is measured around 30 millivolts. The flu, 50. So what are we gonna do on a regular basis to upregulate our cell membrane potential? How do we have healthy cells? So as I mentioned earlier, a great deal of the world now, many people around the world are suffering from electrohypersensitivity. The World Health Organization really does agree that this is a disease category. And they're saying that maybe 5% of all Americans, maybe 6 or 7% of all Europeans, and I believe the numbers are much higher, because these are the symptoms that we see every single day. Probably every physician, everybody in the medical field sees these particular symptoms daily. And again, this is because we're not at the root in terms of our cellular health, we're not getting that energy, we're not, our electrical systems are not getting what they need for our cellular health to work properly. So we see this, uh, gastrointestinal problems, sleep problems, hormone imbalances, virus and toxin overload, because again, with low uh, membrane potential of the cells, a lot of people, you just can't get these toxins out. And so there, people have heavy, heavy loads of viruses and bacteria in their body. And until you increase this electrical potential, it's, it's hard to see a shift in terms of the overall health. 
So everybody in this room has, has one of these symptoms, I'm sure. And um, I guess we're seeing these, like, as Siddharshan said, we see a lot of children and we see a lot of teenagers. I see a lot of very, very sick young people right now. And every single one of them, I ask them to kind of electro-sanitize their home. And it's remarkable how when people that have, are plugging in their computers, you know, have their computers on their bed while they sleep, certainly don't ever put a laptop on your lap. That's the worst possible thing to do. Um, people charge the phones near their heads, LED lights, clock radios, electric, uh, exercise equipment in your room. So really try to clean all that out. It's really important. And it's not an overnight, like, I feel great. But we have many patients um, that once they start doing that, a couple weeks later, they feel much better. So again, my greatest teachers in my entire life have come from the indigenous peoples of the world who have really tried to, even though when I wasn't really open and I didn't really understand, have, have really been the people, the earth-centered people who we all came from, who I am so grateful to remind me to get outdoors as much as possible. Sadarshan? I think it's good to revisit the question again, how do we stay healthy in an unhealthy world? You know, really think about that. Um, and when I look at this slide, the more I look at it, I feel like it should say the true revolution. Um, Tesla realized with the introduction of electricity um, that things were going to change greatly, and he said it would be both a blessing and a curse. And I think it troubled him introducing this technology, realizing um, what could be done with it and how it would affect us. Um, it, it has kind of turned us upside down. That's why I feel like the slide should say revolution, because I feel like evolution implies gradual change over many generations, and it, it feels like we've changed to the point of being shocked, and our bodies can't even cope anymore. Um, when we are in, in this point here, the words that come to mind are like sustainability, vulnerability, seven generations, thinking about those that have come before you, you know, those that will come in the future. Um, and I think here, we are, you know, we are in touch with that holy spark. It's a part of us. Over here, I th my feeling is, is that, you know, we're trying to think about, although we've had many advances and, and conveniences, it's more like, how can we make things better, faster? How can I sell it? How can I drill it? How can I cap it? You know, all of those things come to mind for me. And I think now is the time for us to really look at these benevolent technologies and make the choices to employ them in our lives. Um, because of the direction we've moved in collectively, we have some challenges we're now facing. Um, it's, it really boils down to the fact, and I think it's becoming more and more evident, that EMF deficiency actually equals extinction. The, lat the latest statistic I saw is that um, 16 species are disappearing a day, so that's about 21,000 species a year. Just think about that. 16 a day are disappearing, and these radio frequencies are definitely a component. You know, we can't escape from them. We're all in this sea. Um, population has tripled in the last 50 years, and think about the stresses that is putting on all of our resources. Water, I showed the slide of, um, you know, of the Gulf. Uh, yesterday, I read an article about pharmaceuticals, about how hospitals are flushing them, and about how we're all excreting them, and that these treatment plants cannot fully remove them from the water. So we may be getting actual medical to homeopathic doses of pharmaceuticals. There's actually a river in India now that um, has so much Cipro in it, when it was tested, Cipro is a strong antibiotic, that it could treat 90,000 people, if you can believe that. Um, and then food. All I can say about that is, do you really know what you're eating? Does everybody know what they're eating now as far as genetically modified organisms? Think about the factory farms that all the meat comes from. I would highly recommend seeing the movie Food, Inc. Um, Robin and I were at the Bioneers Conference um, last year in Marin County, and Michael Poulin was there who did a lot of work on the movie, and it's really amazing to kind of track your, your food sources and see, you know, see what you're really obtaining and how you're nourishing your body. Um, this was an article on bees, birds, and mankind and how electrosmog is affecting 
um, all of these creatures. And I think bees are such a subtle link for us because of the fact that they pollinate all of our food crops. In North America, the bee colonies have decreased about 50%. Uh, there's an experiment done with decked phones where they took beehives, um, eight beehives, four of which they placed uh, for the decked phones in, which really emit high frequency. And the bees in those hives could not find their way home. You know, so the bees are, are, are essentially being killed and disoriented by these frequencies. I also read an article about um, a province in China where there were so few bees that they actually gave women feathers and they were going tree to tree and pollinating the blossoms with the feathers because there just weren't bees to do it. Um, larger species are being affected by these frequencies as well. It's not uncommon to see more and more to see whales and dolphins disoriented. Uh, they have magnesite in their brains that they used to be able to use as navigation systems and they're no longer able to do that. Some of the first really um, conclusive human evidence that we um, obtained was when Yuri Gagarin went into space. He was a cosmonaut. He went into space in 1961. He was in space for an hour and 48 minutes. Um, in that time, his bone density diminished. His metabolism slowed down, his perception decreased, and depression developed, which he suffered with the rest of his life, and he died prematurely at age 37. Um, there was also an experiment done with three college students. Um, they didn't believe this. So they were put in a zero electromagnetic field, and within three hours, they were suicidal. On the right, you actually see, um, this is dark field microscopy. It is a slide of Yuri's blood, and what you're seeing is a structural display called Rouleau, where all the red blood cells kind of clump upon one another, and Robin had talked about raisins. When our blood cells are like this, they cannot fully oxygenate, they can't get the nutrients. Um, we have somebody who does live blood cell analysis at our clinic, and we see this frequently. The minute we put them on the mat, or I should say eight minutes after they're on the mat, their blood will look like the blood on the left. The reason that is, is um, in the presence of a pulsed electromagnetic field, the hemoglobin in the blood causes the cells to repel one, one another, and then the, the, um, the oxygen, nutrients, everything that's needed for a healthy cell can penetrate and the toxins can get out. Again, I want to reiterate, um, electromagnetic energy is the elemental energy on which all life and organisms depend. I want to take a minute now and just show you this actual technology. It's, um, it's very simple, and the reason we're here is it's actually a Tesla technology. There's six Tesla coils in here, the densest of which are at the feet. The reason for that is it helps establish the electromagnetic connection to the Earth. Um, it's connected to this brain, which I'll power up here. And it's very simple to use. We have many patients who, after receiving treatments and see the benefit of this, purchase these units and use them every day in their home. It's good to use it for a minimum of about eight minutes. And the reason that is, is um, it uses a triple sawtooth wave, which is a sine wave. It's a carrier wave for many other sine waves. And the company has learned how to engineer this so they can compress all the data that will treat 70 trillion cells of your body in that period of time, which is quite amazing. So every cell is affected simultaneously. Um, so how this functions is you power it up. It does a brief systems check, which is nice. It makes sure that it is broadcasting actually the waves that are in the human biological window. Because in China, they're doing knockoffs of these, and they're actually broadcasting waves that are harmful to the human body. So after you power up, you go to what um, a built-in Chinese clock. So you set the time of day, and what it does is stimulate or tonify the appropriate organ system for the body at that time of day. Um, next is a time counter, and it's in duration of 8, 16, or 24 minutes based on that sawtooth wave configuration. And then it has a power selector, which goes from 10 to 400 micro Teslas, which fits in that human biological window. It, um, it comes also with a small pad, which um, Jason had spoken about, the magic marker, which I like better than probe, since all of you guys are alien believers. Um, and this is, um, this is a pillow for local application as well. This uses a different waveform. It's a square waveform. It's an analgesic waveform. It also repairs nerve cells. And I think the best way for me to give you an idea of how this functions is to paint you an audible picture with it. First, I want to go over to our slide projector and show you what a, a pernicious wave sounds like. This is what we're exposed to most of the time in front of our computers under um, fluorescent lights.
And I think we're not reacting, we're not doing anything about this because the body doesn't have a built-in smoke alarm. You know, we don't have any adaptive mechanism yet that tells us, get out of these fields, they're killing you. You know, like if your house is on fire, your smoke alarm goes off, you're out of there. Not the case with these waves, you know. We're just starting to connect all these symptoms with these radio frequencies. Um, this is what the mat sounds like. When I, th when I think about the geometry of this sound, it reminds me of like a whale song, a bird or butterfly's flight. You'll see, you'll actually hear the triple sawtooth. to give you a brief sense of that. I also want to have um, Robin or Jason come up here and lay on the mat just to show you. This creates an electron cloud um, that's about three feet around the body. It also ben penetrates the most densest tissues of the body. So you can hear Robin is still in the field. Um, also I want to mention that this unit comes with an optional sound and light system, so it helps entrain the brain to the appropriate waveforms that will elicit deeper reaction or relaxation. We use this a lot in the clinic and for people who have experienced it, at first it's awful intense and people say, I don't ever want to do this again, but the more and more people use it, we find that they won't use the mat without it. Um, is there anything you'd like to add, Robin? Okay. Okay. Um, the reason this technology works is it's based on the idea of biomimicry. I'd encourage everyone to go to the Biomimicry Institute and look at some of their slides. This is a Shin Kansen or bullet train from Japan that's modeled on the bill of a bird. This is soft or thin solar. Mod modeled on leaves. Um, we learned a lot about biomimicry at the Bioneers Conference, and I think the more and more we can look to nature for solutions, the easier, our, um, the easier our lives will be. I think it has many different answers for us. I like this quote from Tesla, although I do find some of his writing a bit inaccessible. Um, I think he saw that intelligence, not only energy, but intelligence was going to be transmitted across the earth someday, and that in seeing that, he did not want to disturb the, the earth in any way. So in, in his mind, um, he was thinking about peace and benevolence as well as technology. If you, um, if you leave this lecture with nothing else, this slide is so important. Without the electrons, nothing can be transported across the cell membrane. Nothing can go across that phospholipid bilayer and nothing can get out. So, Think about that. Also think about each cell as like the planet itself and how disturbed the ionosphere is by these radio frequencies. So every one of our cells is being disturbed and we need to empower ourselves, you know, really take our cells back um, and be responsible for our health. And Robin is going to give you five different pathways to do that. So these are the solutions. I think one of the things I one of the most important things I can say to each and every one of you is to definitely take responsibility for your health and not to delegate this to just about anybody. I mean, we all want to have our doctors, certainly. But when it comes to the choices that you make 24-7, that's really who you are here today. That we have to really think about what we're putting into our bodies, including our mind. And if you ever are given a prescription from your doctor, two or three or ten, like we see some of our patients come in with, do your homework and find out what those side effects are. Because very often we are treating people from the side effects of their drugs. So really, truly important that um, you take responsibility. And even if you have insurance and it will qualify you for certain therapies, certain drugs, really think about that. And sometimes it's necessary, of course, and I realize that, but I think this is really key. And I have my, every patient of mine to research whatever their condition is. 
eat high frequency foods from nature, just nature provides in such amazing ways. So if we can get more of our diet, maybe 70% of our diet from the earth, high water content diet, that's really essential again to our cellular health. It's, I know it's unpatriotic. <laughs> And um, I would love the words of uh, Jack LaLanne, but he said, if man made it, messed it up, or messed it up, don't eat it. Definitely water and exercise, really important. And exercise, in terms of the electromagnetic field of the earth, we need to move to really get that spark going. And with a, certainly with your water, put your sea salt in your water. Cell food, something like any type of minerals really helps also. Again, we've learned so much from Candace Pert and Bruce Lipton that our thoughts do play a inc very important role in terms of our overall mental, spiritual, physical health. And in terms of how just love and high-frequency thoughts really can change an underfunctioning cell and make it well. And again, ultimately, that's what this technology is, no matter what your condition is. This, this particular wellness device, you could have cancer, you could have a sore foot. It, just ta it doesn't matter what your condition is. It just takes under-functioning cells and makes them well. And it uses the power of nature to affect cellular metabolism and cellular resonance. So nourish your 70 trillion cells. Be in healthy electromagnetic fields every day through earthing or biomimicry technology like the MRS-2000. So when people question these do run about $3,900, you know, that's, a, that's a quite a stretch. But that's about $80 a week, and you've paid it off in a year. And for those of us, I mean, we have well over 100 people that have this wellness device, and you just don't even question it. It just becomes part of your life. We need cellular cleansing, just like we brush our teeth twice a day. Our cells need some support right now. So these are the kind of foods we want to be eating. And again, all the secrets that nature provides. Like when you think about eating a uh, tomato, it has four chambers. Really great for the heart. Of course, we know about carrots or look like the iris of the eye. Great for the eye. Uh, celery sticks are like, um, look like bones, and they, it's amazing that the mineral composition of a, a celery is just like our bones. But this is what we see. When you really look at this picture, this is really not that uncommon. Harmful Food Nation. This is the standard American diet. Monsanto foods, genetically modified. You know, you, right now there are about 80,000 choices in a given store, like especially like a big Target store, and most of those are processed and certainly in boxes. So just stay away from anything that's man-made, and you're going to be in much better shape. But these are autoimmune diseases. I mean, I, we see people with autoimmune diseases every single day. It's pretty scary. And where does that start? Of course, it's in the cell. So here he is, David, victims of an acidic diet. This is rampant. I mean, the levels of obesity and diabetes in this country are just skyrocket. They're expecting in the next two to three years that a third of our children are going to be diabetic because of this metabolic issue. We just cannot deal with these level of toxins, and we're not getting these frequencies that we really need. So this is what you want to strive for. There we go. A sustainable diet. Just a few more minutes here. So a magnetic resonance, also known as pulsed electromagnetic field. It's definitely one of the world's most powerful wellness devices. Results are phenomenal. I mean, there are a lot of great technologies out there, but this is for the whole body. Every single cell is improved with this particular wellness device. Ultimate anti-inflammatory and anti-aging wellness device, for sure. So even someone of my age, I'm 44. I mean, just now being in this field in, for the last... Excuse me? <laughs> not 44 for long. Anyway, this has completely changed my life. I don't know where I'd be if I still was not sleeping. Not only that, but I could not exercise anymore. I was a marathon runner. 
and now it's, it's totally shifted that. So as you can see here, um, many people from around the world, there are about 5,000 um, runners and, and, and athletes that are now using this, this device, which has been incredible for people. It's like their number one vitamin. Great for dogs, great for children. This dog has completely had a new life. He's, he was 10 years old, very serious arthritis, and now, because his whole family uses the MRS 2000, he is completely like he used to be years ago. So if you want to do some research, Dr. Carmichael wrote a book. He's the only American to write a book on this technology. We will be out at a booth um, out in the main atrium area. Every single person in this room has an opportunity to try this for free. We're offering acupuncture and B12 shots and some of the other oxidative th therapies that we do, like Myers cocktails. So please come in and uh, experience this. And I'm going to have to quickly go through here. But anyway, I'm just going to end with this last um, statement here that if we can balance our nervous system, you know, at acupuncture's yin and yang, if we can restore our nervous system, I mean, that's 90%, 95% of why we end up in the doctor's office anyway, that's huge. So that's, that's really the, the, the real power of this is to get people back into health. This is just to show some before and afters with bone. Um, this is a failed fusion. And this particular 40-year-old was not healing until he used magnetic resonance stimulation. And his fusion finally healed. And now doctors in the Western world are using this as well. I'm just going to go through this. So anyway, we wish you all balanced equilibrium and exceptional health. We are here to answer all your questions through the rest of the weekend. And um, we want to welcome to the future of medicine. This is really what it's all about, energy medicine. And welcome to the medicine of the future. And I want to end with this Walt Whitman quote. Now I know the secrets of making the best persons. It is grow in the open air and to eat and sleep with the earth. Thank you very much. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take about a seven-minute break or eight-minute break, and we're going to be right back. Uh, see you in a few. Robin will be out in the foyer. Thank you.